ghost tours are extremely popular right now. Uh, it's October, uh, so people are looking forward to Halloween. Um, if uh, if a city's got any ghosts or any haunted aspects around it, uh, there will be a tour for it, and they'll probably sell it on our website. A uh, really popular one is actually Edinburgh in Scotland. You don't think of uh, you think of ghost tours as probably being most popular in the U.S., where kids are into Halloween, but Edinburgh is actually the most haunted city in the world. Welcome to the Amid Life Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hey, everyone. Hi, it's Laura with the Amid Life Traveler podcast, and happy almost Halloween, I guess. Here we are in the middle of October, and this episode today is kind of Halloween-based. It's a little bit about ghost tours, but it's also to give you a really cool new resource to help you plan some vacations that you may have coming up. The resource is called Get Your Guide, and I just recently discovered these guys while at a travel conference in Ireland. And Get Your Guide, it's it, it's kind of a secret sauce in the U.S. anyway. They're not really known here. It's a European-based company. They're huge over in Europe. They aggregate lots of tours, everything from you know, small mom and pop, local authentic tours, all the way up to the big tour providers. And they offer 24 seven support and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so I sat down to talk with Will Gluckin from Get Your Guide to learn more about it. And while we're talking, I learned that Edinburgh, Scotland is apparently the most haunted city in the world. Who knew? Well, I guess Will knew, but I, I didn't know. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And since we're doing this series on Scotland, I am throwing this podcast in here. And I'm going to let you know that if you go to the amidlifetraveler.com website, look up this podcast. It's episode 16. Look for Edinburgh or Ghost or Get Your Guide. Those will be your keywords to search on. And I ha- will have pulled a small selection of Edinburgh ghost tours for your perusal, but also throwing in some whiskey tours because I really think that, at least for me, because I'm not a ghost tour person, haven't really done ghost tours before, but I think if I was to do one, I might want to drink some whiskey or do a whiskey tour first, or maybe that's just me. Anyways, uh, I hope you find Get Your Guide interesting. Go to our website, check out the links, and Who knows? Type in your city and get your guide and see if they have a ghost tour near you. Happy Halloween. So we are in Killarney, Ireland, and I'm thrilled to be talking to Will. He is with Get Your Guides, and they are a fantastic resource for the traveler who wants to book a vacation. So maybe six months ago, you got a cheap flight somewhere, but you're not sure what you're going to do. You can go to their website, look at a city, and get complete ideas for half day, one day, two day, three day tours. Well, hang on, let Will talk about it. <laughs> sure, thanks, Laura. Yeah, so uh, that's right. Uh, we're the largest online marketplace for tours and activities. Uh, we have over 31,000 things to do in 7,300 destinations around the world, and that number is growing every day. 7,300 uh, destinations? 7,300 destinations. Wow. Uh, that's right. Uh, anywhere uh, on just about any continent, I think, except Antarctica. Um, but we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a pretty select. There's group. there's not a lot. There's not a lot, of, <laughs> there's like, not a lot to do there. There's not, not many things to do. <laughs> no, we're we're trying to get the penguin activities on board, okay. but it's taking okay. some time. Yeah. Um, no, but that's right. Uh, so, so whether you are looking for a day tour, for a quick uh, walk around the city with a local who knows it really well, for a skip the line ticket at an attraction. Can you give me some examples of the day tours that people might find on your site? Sure. 
food tours, ghost tours, yeah. tour, what kind of stuff? Absolutely. Do? Ghost tours are extremely popular right now. Uh, it's October, uh, so people oh, are looking yeah. forward to Halloween. Um, if uh, if a city's got any ghosts or any haunted aspects around it, uh, there will be a tour for it, and they'll probably sell it on our website. A uh, really popular one is actually Edinburgh in Scotland. You mm-hmm. don't think of uh, you think of ghost tours as probably being most popular in the U.S., where kids are into Halloween, but Edinburgh is actually the most haunted city in the world. Is uh, it really? It I is. Was just there. Like yes. Six months ago, I had no idea it was the most haunted. It is said I to mean, be the there most were a haunted lot of city. Ghost tours, but I, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and there, there are a lot of ghost tours. It's said to be the most haunted city in the world. You know what else they have? They have a lot of whiskey tours. Mm. So maybe you want to do a whiskey tour. Oh, and chocolate. <laughs> they have like whiskey, chocolate, and ghosts. Well, if you drink enough whiskey, you might see some things that aren't there. So <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it could work out well that way. It could work out well. That's really interesting. Are these tr- like big tour companies that are posting these, or it's, is this? It's everything from the biggest tour companies in the world to the smallest independent mom and pop or just hobbyist providers who really think they know their neighborhood of the city well and they want to take people around and show it to them. So we work with uh, huge attractions like the Eiffel Tower, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the Sydney Opera House, uh, One World Observatory in New York City, and we work with their ticketing systems to help them efficiently sell tickets online. And we work with uh, with Joe Schmo in Southern California who just wants to take people around and uh, show them his part of the beach. Oh, so you can really do a local, authentic local experience. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. So is it a website? Is it an app? It's a website and an app. Uh, both work together seamlessly. Uh, the website's there for you when you're planning your trip ahead. You're on your laptop or you're on your tablet uh, in the comfort of your own home. You're getting ready for your upcoming trip. You're thinking about what you want to do. Then when you get there, the app is there for you, and it contains all your mobile tickets, including your QR codes, your booking times. Oh, wow. That's really cool. So thanks for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. If you're looking for any of the resources that were mentioned in today's episode, please go online to our website at amidlifetraveler.com. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, rate, and review us online at iTunes and uh, just send us a note. Tell us what you think about the podcast. We would really appreciate it. Thanks.